In this video, we're going to look at six famous bass lines that often get played incorrectly. I'm going to show you the right way to play them and also talk about why I think people get them wrong. Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder is a popular song for bass players, mainly because there's a very cool unison section, which is a technical challenge but also demonstrates a player's ability. However, I often see people playing it like this. This is Jacob Collier, who has an amazing ear for music. So I don't think he has misheard this. This highly rated tab on Ultimate Guitar is also incorrect. Here's how it should be played. So I see this a lot, this part of the unison line being played the correct way, but an octave down. I think it's possible that some bass players just aren't comfortable playing in this area of the neck, so avoid it at all costs. But any bass with 18 frets or more can facilitate this bass line, so give it a try. Sissy Strut is a classic instrumental funk song that was recorded by The Meters in 1969. This is widely recognised as one of the most iconic bass lines of the genre, but it seems as though people hear an extra note that is not being played, myself included, until I heard this interview. Most famous bass line that's been played wrong <laughs> continuously <laughs> is Sissy Strut. And, 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 this, and, the, and the thing that, that is, is like, it's the second lick that everyone always wants to play, or always wants to play, wants to play more notes than it is. That everybody wants to play, <laughs> which is wrong. That was George Porter, the bass player in the meters. And as he points out, this note that everyone hears isn't actually there. The bass line is actually played like this. And here it is with the phantom note that people seem to hear. Sweet Home Alabama is a classic rock song recorded by Leonard Skinner in 1974. The song is well known for its catchy guitar riff and memorable lyrics, but the bass line is also a crucial component that helps drive the song's rhythm and provides the foundation for the rest of the band. One day I was browsing YouTube and I came across this isolated bass track from a live Leonard Skinner gig. Check this out. Myself and many others have played it like this. On the record, it actually goes like this. You'd be forgiven for missing this because it's buried in the mix, but now you know about it, you won't be able to unhear it. Oh Little Love is another classic rock song recorded by Led Zeppelin in 1969. On the surface, the bass line sounds very basic. Listen to John Paul Jones explaining that this is not actually how it goes. That particular riff is that it's all it's using octave strings on a four string bass. So you, instead of doing it sounds very very weak. You slide up and you hit the, those two strings in unison. So it goes and then hit these in octaves. So there's always two strings playing at any, any time, which gives it that power, which a lot of people don't know. Good Times is a funk song recorded by Sheik 
in 1979. The bass line is one of the most iconic and recognizable bass lines in popular music. Bernard Edwards was the man behind the bass and it's played like this. So the mistake is playing the C instead of the C sharp. So I think the reason this mistake is made again and again is because the chords of the progression are roughly speaking E minor 7 to A dominant 7. You can find these chords in the key of D major, it's the second chord of the key and the fifth chord of the key, making it a 2-5 chord progression. The second mode of the major scale is a Dorian mode, which is basically a natural minor scale with a raised sixth, so I'll be raising the C to the C sharp. As the natural minor scale is more common, I think a lot of people assume it would fit over these chords and play the C instead of the C sharp. Enter Sandman is a heavy metal song recorded by Metallica in 1991. Here is the isolated bass track. So compared to the very famous guitar riff, it's quite straightforward. I think a lot of bass players start on guitar, learn this riff very early on, and then just transport it over to the bass guitar. As a bonus, there's also this bass part, which is buried in the mix. Thanks for checking out this video. If you can think of any other bass lines that people get wrong, please leave it in the comments and maybe check out some of my other videos. Cheers.